Hiya, I'm Taz from Fire Child Shamanism. So I've had a few people ask me how the Fire Child Shamanic Craft Studio came to be, and it's a perfect case of manifestation. A while back, my other half, Asher, and I were sitting there in bed one morning, and for a while, Asher had been, um, how can I put this politely, complaining a little bit about our dining room turning into a studio for my craft work and all the commissions. Medicine, jewellery, drums, rattles, staffs, wands, whatever you can think of that involves making a mess and lots of crafty stuff was basically happening on our dining room table. So we sat there saying, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could find somewhere where I could just move all my stuff in and make stuff? So we set our intention. We said, right, some point within the next six months, we'll find somewhere that will be perfect that will be affordable and somewhere in the countryside and somewhere big enough for me to be able to run workshops as well. So I've got quite a few people wanting to come and make their own shamanic craft stuff. And at the minute, don't really have the space to invite them into our dining room. So we went to sleep. I asked my guides to, to help me find the perfect place. And lo and behold, the next morning we woke up I picked up my mobile from the side of the bed and started to have a quick check of Facebook and found my good friend Gillian Wing that ran some of the shamanic glass workshops with me a few years back now was talking about some new studios that were opening and available to rent in the same complex she's in which is fabulous it's, um, it's a farm, it's um, all out in the countryside there are sheep nearby, there's open fields and it's just a beautiful, beautiful, peaceful place to be. And guess what? There was a studio there with my name on it that was affordable, that was available, and that was perfect to not only move all my craft stuff into, but to be able to invite people in for crafting workshops. So that's how it came to be. I fired a quick email over to Gillian, who spoke to the lady who owns the place, and that was it. I came in for a meeting, I moved in at the end of December, it was that quick. So that's the real power of manifestation. Now the key to good manifestation, for me at least, is to be very, very clear about what you want. There's no point just saying, I want to be happy, or I want to be financially secure. You have to be really, really clear. So if you're talking finances, you need to know how much you want to manifest and by when, and maybe even what you're gonna use it for. And in my case, it wasn't just enough to say, um, I need somewhere for my craft work. It was about needing somewhere in a lovely countryside location, somewhere that was big enough for me to be able to invite people in for craft studios, somewhere that was close to home. And this is approximately six minutes away from my doorstep, in the car, not walking, but still. And it's accessible. Um, it's just perfect. They've even just opened a new cafe downstairs, which is gorgeous. Really good home cooked food, paninis, soups, teas and coffees. Beautiful for when people come for workshops, they can just pop downstairs. The cafe's directly below my studio. So everything I asked for came true. So try it. Think about what you really want, what will really fill you up and make you happy. Be really, really specific and ask the universe for it. Get your cosmic orders out there. You might be able to manifest something as quickly as I did. Although overnight is a record for me. So there you have it, the Fire Child Shamanic Craft Studio. We'll have everything in here fairly soon and our first workshops are gonna be in June. But if you wanna come and make something before then, drop me a line. You can email info at firechild-shamanism.co.uk or you can give me a ring. The number's on the website, www.firechild-shamanism.co.uk. I look forward to welcoming you in my new, spacious, fantastic, beautiful studio. See you soon. Lots of love. Walking truth and beauty. Bye-bye.